Hi and welcome back to the channel. Here we've got the Ampro 20 meter whip on the car and if you watched the previous video I'll put the link above. Uh, this is the one we've already tuned. Well I say we, me. So if we just get down to 14 megahertz. Here we, here's the dip coming. So the 14, 2, so middle of the band, all ready for phone, 1.1 1 .1, uh, SWR. So that one's fine, and now I'm going to uh, just check the other two whips I already had, I can't remember if I've tuned them or not, and then tune 40 and 80, which might prove a challenge, so we'll see. So this is the 17 metre whip, you can see how easy it is to screw in. I think I've tuned this, I'm not quite sure. So we'll plug it in and see what reading we get. Meters on here, so we'll go up to about 18, 1.3. Oh, yeah, I did tune this, I think. There we go, 1.4. It's a very narrow band. So we'll go to 1.30 there, about 1.4. Um, and the rig, I think if I remember rightly, the rig's even happier. Um, so uh, 1.4 on that one, so 17's okay. Right, 12. I've probably done this one as well, but just to check. Uh, 12, 12, 12. Still okay on that range. So I want to be 24, 8 to 24.9. There's the dip coming. 1.3 yeah so that one's fine as well uh, and I've noticed the insertion of the uh, whip on the on the on the antenna uh, is more at the manufacturer's recommended length at these high frequencies whereas 20 there's quite a lot inserted and I think that may be to do with uh, my lack of ground so it'll be interesting now I'm going to break out 40 and 80 what happens so we've got uh, 20 17 and 12 and from a previous video remember I've got 15 uh, with a fiberglass pole which I can attach to the eye so I've got a full 5 8 on 15 uh, so now we're down for well 40 fingers crossed so here's the instructions and you can see the uh, all the bands are covered and some of them uh, when you look online there's shorter versions uh, more compact there's the Allen key um, and as it says here, uh, you should generally insert about one centimetre of the whip to start tuning, uh, which has been the case on 12 and 17, but not my experience on 20. That might be my setup. So, so there's the specs, and I'm going for 40 metre next, 7 megahertz. I'll, uh, I'll start with the recommended uh, uh, tip size, and then we can go from there. Right, so we've got... 40 on now. See uh, first impressions. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Low range. That covers 7 megahertz. So there's a dip. So it's too long. So I need to insert some more of the tip uh, inside the base. Right, so it's just a case of loosening these two grub screws and sliding the whip through the base. So the good thing about these is once it's set, then these never move. Right, how long's a piece of string? I'm going to go for that. Obviously you don't have to do it too tight because we're going to keep moving it about. Right, I'll try that one now. Right, back again, with that first adjustment. So we've made the antenna shorter, so it should go higher. 6.9 at 1.6. 6.9 in a bit, 6.95 at 1.514. Because with such low frequencies, the 40 meter band, I need to make bigger adjustments, but 
hopefully I can get it into the I want about 7.1 megahertz so we'll try again if this goes on for a long time I won't show all these adjustments no, it's getting a bit monotonous uh, oh, there we go we've moved again nearly at 7 now 1.5 right I'll, I'll go for a, a chunky adjustment and see what happens Right, one one chunky adjustment later. This is where you find it gone too far. Ooh. There's the dip about there, seven one six. It's getting chilly. Uh. To what it can do now. 713, 1.6. Right, happy with that. 715, 714, must be moving about a bit. 1.4, 7130. That's okay. Now uh, 80. Right, so we're on 80. And you can see there just that bottom section, it's got the loose helical winding. The rest is all coil. So it's uh, obviously a big compromise on these low frequencies obviously 80 meters is a long long wavelength right so if we go down to uh, that section because you want three and a half to uh, 3.8 uh, these three and a half it's quite ooh, that's high isn't it uh, oh there we go Whee. Well, that's narrow isn't it yeah, so a, a byproduct of such a, a small antenna for the wavelength, it's got a very narrow bandwidth. Right, so 3.8, 1.4. So I just need to make it a little bit longer. Oh, did I say it was getting cold? Blimey. Right. Yeah, I'll go with that. Quite good, that, isn't it? 3, 7 megahertz, 1 point. I saw 1, 3 at some point. There, 1, 3. So here we are, 80, 40, 20, 17, 12. There's the coil for 80. See how long that is. Uh, there's the coil for 20 just there to there. 80 is still going. Uh, and you can see these small ones. So there's the respective tips. And the uh, key thing to do is to mark the tip because once you unplug them, uh, you don't know which one's which. They, they come handily with a label on the bottom um but nothing on the top so i'll mark those up uh, i'll pull the tips out and you can see see what insertions i've got yeah just checking the uh the spec sheet you can see there that bandwidth column on the right uh how narrow it gets the lower the lower the band you go uh, 80 meters at the bottom three and a half kilohertz which is understandable it's a, a compromise antenna um so here's the uh the amount i inserted in terms of tip so 80 40, 20, 17 and 12 uh, within a range of what six inches 15 centimeters so all easily adjustable uh, within the spec of the antenna um, so in theory all good and I know I've tried 20 and that worked fine um, just to try the rest now so yeah, I put the 40 meter whip on um, you can hear the pulsating Christmas lights So not the best time, so that's why the noise is is quite high. So we, we've set the 50 watts, I've set the meter to SWR. If we're going to uh, the top of the band. And going to CW. So we're looking for the meter here on CW, if I key up briefly. So that was a very low reading nearly one to one so if I go down to let's see 170 there yeah, 1.5 so I could probably make this a little bit longer could I go further down the band three to one there so it seems to be resonant way up the top 
so I might make that a bit longer um, but we've got the tuner that AT automatic tuner if I click that so we can always tune if we need to so when I do just adjust this uh, to how happy the rig is uh, rather than the analyzer uh, then we're okay uh, so it's just always worth just checking if I go down here keep again yeah three to one so the antenna needs to be, be a little bit longer so on day two uh, still another dreary day I went outside uh, and tuned the antenna using the uh, rig meter. so that's the original tune that I left it on the previous day uh, top of the band 7-2 one to one and then it rose as we went down the to the middle of the band but obviously this is the the voice section of the band so I tweaked the uh, the whip and uh, managed to move the the one to ones further into the band then I've tweaked it again and overshot as you can see here and then my final attempt which I've left it at so I've got 1.7 at the very top of the band I can easily choose that tune that out with a rig tuner uh, and then down to uh, ones in the the middle of the phone section and then starting to rise again as we drop down into uh, digital CW and so on so uh, the rig tuner can do both ends uh, no problem at all so that's that's how I left it and then I did a, a great on air test with Glen on 4 wix it was really helpful uh, a little bit of that QSO now no sign of uh, RF on the audio whatsoever so um, in terms of audio you're putting out a good signal rounded full body very very good sound coward sound so um, I think you're Yes, Roger, Roger, Glenn. Yes, sir. well, I'm re I'm really pleased with that because uh, I've had some good, good experiences on two meters uh, on a, on a VHF, and uh, I've got 77s as well. So I've got all bands really. Uh, I just need to get out and about. I'm uh, really pleased that I've got 40 working because I thought the uh, the lower bands uh, would be a bit more trickier uh, on uh, on the car without a proper ground. But uh, it seems to be using the car as a as a as a lump of metal underneath it so that seems to, that seems to have done the trick and uh, and uh, yes uh, please this uh, the kenwood audio is okay i can tweak it for a bit more high i can look at that in the settings i'm waiting for the roaring 20s again uh, glenn i don't know where they are but they, they started off bad they can only get better can't they uh, Oscar november 4 whiskey in the x-ray golf zero charlie november november port uh, mobile uh, 73 glenn bye bye yeah so really pleased with that uh, obviously i've only been sat on the drive i haven't really gone mobile as such so next to uh, get out and about and uh, give the uh, give the setup some good field trials and if you like this video please like and subscribe remember to hit the bell and you'll be notified of new videos when they release 73